following question. Renat, why is the private sector key and why is the voluntary carbon market needed? Thanks a lot, uh, Isabel, for the question. Also from my side, warmly welcome to this webinar. Uh, exciting to have all of you uh, here. Um, Isabel, the, the answer to this question, I think the next slides can nicely give us. Uh, here on this slide, you can see how historically carbon emissions have gone up from 1990 now to 2020. And if you look at the yellow prediction, this is how emissions would have to unfold or emission levels if we were to achieve a two degrees target. And the green line shows what would have to happen if we were to achieve a 1.5 degrees target. Now, if we look at what currently we have in under the Paris Agreement in terms of government pledges and policies, there the story looks quite different. So even if all the pledges and policies that have been made under the Paris Agreement were actually becoming a reality, we would still be very far away from a two degrees target. And even to make things worse, as we all know, a pledge alone or an NDC alone does not mean that the government actually has a policy in place, a regulation that has real world impact on the economy. Now, this is where the private sector comes in. We simply need to finance climate action beyond those targets. And even within these targets, we need private sector action to kickstart initiatives. Because again, what's the point of having a nice plan if nobody invests against this plan? So that's, I guess, the short answer to the question why we need private sector finance. 